My name is Lilia Chacon, and today I am talking with artist and gallery owner Erica Hilton. You've chosen some very specific figures to showcase. What meaning does all of this have? I try to choose the imagery that is strictly American. And when you go to another country, you're in Europe, you're in Asia, what are they going to recognize? They're going to recognize Mickey Mouse. They're going to recognize Marilyn Monroe, John Wayne. I try to choose images like the first man on the moon, Explorer One, Orville and Wilbur Wright, Pan Am. These are all American icons. The horses are running on the edge of the painting and they are now turning into the horseless carriage the Model T. Erica, this has got to be one of your most ambitious paintings. Tell me a little bit about the, the background, what it's all set mm -hmm. upon. Well, I chose the background to Albert Bierstadt's Oregon Trail because America was founded by pioneers. This is a country made up of immigrants, people from all over the world, and they all come to America for the same reason. They come here because this, in essence, is the promised land there's a golden door here, and in this golden door is the dollar sign. Everybody wants to live a comfortable life. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to live in this beautiful home. They want to have enough food to eat. They want to have safety and freedom for themselves, for their children. That's what this country promises for people. You don't get that everywhere in the world, but America has everything, everything. I found this book, and it was falling apart, and it was called Great American Men and Women for Little Boys and Girls. It was illustrated with lithographs and drawings from George Washington to Benjamin Franklin, and had a chapter on one of the greatest American women in history who started the first women's rights movement. Her name was Lucretia Mott. In 1840, she and Elizabeth Cady Stanton were sent as delegates of the U.S. to attend the first world's anti-slavery convention in London. The women, when they arrived, were relegated to a segregated section where only men were allowed to speak. This experience helped them to plant the seeds for the first women's rights convention at Seneca Falls in 1848. What is it made of? There's actually a lot of tactile, a lot of... It, it actually, I used foliage. You know, my background is architecture and design. I used the foliage just to have that three-dimensional feeling to it because life is three-dimensional. It's not flat. It's paying homage, actually, to what is American. This painting is universal in that it's about the effect that Americans have had on the world. And we go from the founding fathers, now we go to Facebook. We go to Microsoft, Google. I mean, what is larger than Google <laughs> right now? It's wonderful thinking about the possibilities of human beings. And I guess I'm an eternal optimist. If I wasn't, I couldn't be an artist.